Okay, wow, it's been a hot minute since I've made a video. It's like, this is so exciting. Um, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you're all having an amazing day today. Um, I have been wanting to make this video for quite a while now. Um, as you can probably tell by the title, I am finally and officially monetized on YouTube. This is something that I have been working towards for such a long time and I'm so, so happy about this. And I just wanna say, first of all, thank you guys so much to everyone who watched my videos, who are subscribed, who like my videos. I honestly, I'm so thankful to you guys and I just wanted to kind of go over my whole process um, kind of give you guys like some hints some tips on how you can become monetized if you're starting up a new YouTube channel as well so I'm sure a lot of you have probably already watched quite a few videos and so she, you probably already know the minimum requirements to get monetized on YouTube which is if you don't already know uh, the minimum requirement to get monetized on YouTube is 1,000 subscribers and and 4,000 watch hours in the past 365 days. And I know like if you're first starting off, that probably sounds like a lot. And if like, it sounds like it's so impossible at first, but I promise you, like if you work hard towards it, it's not that hard to get. Like you can definitely, definitely make it. It might take some time, but it's definitely gonna be worth it in the end. So I'm gonna be giving you guys a few tips and also explaining like the timeline, how I um, personally got monetized and my whole like experience with it. So I started up my YouTube channel back in 2017. That's when I first uploaded uh, my video. I think it was on April 14th of 2017. It was my first ever video that I uploaded. Back then I used to make vlogs and in 2017 there wasn't ever any minimum requirements um, to become monetized on YouTube and so that's why I, I actually was monetized on YouTube. I made a Google AdSense account back then and I connected it to my YouTube account which I'm actually going to talk about a little later in this video um, but yeah so I already had that all connected and I did earn about three cents for making those videos back then um, and so after a while I actually kind of um, became very busy with school and extracurricular so I just stopped making videos at the time and just because it was kind of like something I was doing for fun um, and so I didn't really give a lot of, of my effort into it at that time. At the start of this year I decided to restart up my YouTube channel um, and when I looked into it I realized that there is this new requirement that you have to have 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours in the past 365 days. Now that's something that's really important to remember because when I had my YouTube channel from like 2017, those views and all of those like watch time, it does not count towards my um, requirement now because it's been such a long time. And so it was kind of like I was starting from scratch again, just starting from the very beginning, even though I had around 400 subscribers. Um, when I restarted up my channel, I still needed 600 more to go and I needed to reach that 4,000 watch hours. And personally, I think the 4,000 watch hours was the thing that was um, harder for me to grasp, but just because it's such a big number, like hours, it's hours, not even minutes, it's hours, right? So it was just, it's a lot for me to grasp at the time, and I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna reach it, but let's just, let's just do it. So that's when I started making videos again, and I am very, very happy to say that after three months of making videos, I had officially reached 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours, and I got an email from YouTube. Pretty much all that that was left for me to do was accept because I already had my Google AdSense account connected to my YouTube account. I already had all like the agreements signed and everything from previously so all I needed to do was get my YouTube channel reviewed and that's something else that actually happens when you are um, applying for the YouTube partnership program is that you're not actually guaranteed 
that you will get monetized when you reach that 1,000 um, subscribers and 4,000 watch hours because your channel will also be reviewed to see if the content you are making is um, eligible for ads to be put on. Now usually it can take quite a while for YouTube to review your videos and I'm pretty sure the way it works is that they actually have a person who like a like an actual person not just computerized um, that actually goes to your channel and goes through your videos now they don't watch all of your videos I believe they um, watch like your most viewed video um, your most recent video and also the video that you got the most watch hours from and so those I think they watch like three of those videos and so that's why you have to be very very um, careful with what you're actually uploading like I'm sure a lot of people they would upload videos but then they end up getting rejected for the YouTube partnership program because their videos are not in line with the YouTube terms and conditions. So while I was waiting for my channel to be reviewed, I was actually very nervous because I didn't know if I would actually be accepted into the YouTube partnership program because I was making reaction videos. And if you want, I could actually go a little more into depth about reaction videos and kind of just how that whole thing plays out, mainly because a lot of the content is copyrighted. So can you actually get paid from making reaction videos. Um, so I can definitely go into that in more depth if you would want me to in the future, uh, in a future video. So let me know in the comments if that's something you want to watch. Now it can actually take a few days for YouTube to review your application. Um, for me, it actually didn't take too long. I got an email about like the second day after um, I had applied and the email said I was approved. That moment was probably one of the happiest moments for me because it was something that I had been working so hard towards, getting approved for the partnership program. And it was just such an amazing feeling for me um, to finally be able to say that I can actually earn revenue from making these videos. So I just want to give you guys a few tips on how you can speed up the process. Now for me, of course, it did take some time. Um, for me, it took three months. A lot of people, it takes longer and that's perfectly fine because eventually you will reach the requirement. I know it may seem like it's a lot, but it's not impossible and it's very much easy to do. If you really put your effort into it, you will eventually reach that requirement. And while you're working towards reaching that requirement, some other stuff that you can do just so you are prepared for when you do become monetized is first you should make a Google AdSense account. If you don't already have one, it's very important because this is how you're going to be getting paid is through Google AdSense. So first you have to go and make that account and then connect that account to your YouTube channel. For me, I already had my YouTube channel connected to my Google AdSense account from 2017. So that was a step that I didn't really have to worry about. Um, in 2021 when I was restarting up my channel because it was already ready to go. But some other things is that in Google AdSense you do have a few other things that you do have to do. Um, for instance, you have to confirm your address. For that they will actually send you a code in your mail and um, you have to write that code into your Google AdSense account to confirm that this address that you have written is your actual address. And that can actually take quite a while. It took for me, it took about four weeks to actually receive that mail so it can take some time so that's why if you even before you're monetized, just get that. That's like something that you can get over with. Another thing would be taxes on Google AdSense. You do have to fill out some tax forms and stuff. It's not that hard to do. It's pretty straightforward and it like everything is pretty um, simplified. So it makes a lot of sense on how you can do it. Um, but that's also something that does require a little bit of time. So you might want to just kind of get that over with as well. And lastly, you have to connect your bank account to your um, Google AdSense and for that you're pretty much giving your banking information to Google AdSense so they can actually de directly deposit your funds into your bank account instead of having to send a check and for that what they're going to do is they're going to directly deposit a few cents then normally it says it's going to be less than one dollar they're going to directly deposit that into your bank account and then you have to write how much they deposited 
into Google AdSense and if it lines up then you are ready to go. So that's just a few things that you can do to kind of speed up your process um, for getting monetized. So once you do become monetized you are ready to go, you have no other things that you need to worry about and you are just prepared. Now if you guys want some more tips and tricks on how you can actually re reach the requirements to getting monetized, be sure to let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make some videos kind of giving you guys some tips on how you can reach that 1000 subscribers or how you can get those 4000 watch hours. So I really hope that this video helped because it's definitely something that I really hope that you guys understand that it's not impossible to reach those minimum requirements. Getting monetized on YouTube is something that's very very possible you just have to put your time and effort into it and eventually you will become monetized and you can start earning money on youtube and if you want some more um uh tips or anything or you want some more information on how youtube monetization works and how you can actually get paid on youtube be sure to let me know like this video and also don't forget to subscribe and i'll be happy to make some more videos kind of explaining that all to you as well but yeah i guess that brings me to the end of this video i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i will see you all in the next video video. Bye!